The rain is so miserable, but it certainly has picked up my Sometimes I laugh when I see Mark Robinson in the storms and he's wearing his wetsuit. He's, it's like he's going scuba diving, but now I'm jealous of him. Your feet obviously wet, right? Yeah, they are. Do you have a raincoat and all that? Yeah, to yeah. stay dry this season, take note of these labels. Waterproof and water resistant. A water resistant material should be so tightly woven that water struggles to get through. Materials like polyester and nylon naturally withstand more water than cotton just because of their construction. But a water resistant jacket can only stand up to so much rain. Not let up. I am completely soaking wet. After a period of exposure or a certain amount of pressure, water will eventually seep through. If you've ever been shopping for a particular product and the manufacturer markets it as waterproof, that product should be totally sealed and protected from the effects of water. Waterproof jackets will have taped seams and waterproof zips. Look for the advertised durable water repellent coating. DWR is used on both water resistant and waterproof items. The easiest way to explain what this coating does is to look at the surface of a new raincoat. When you see water droplets roll off, you'll see water repellency in action definitely feeling chillier than it is, and that's just because I am damp right now. Water repellent properties don't last forever. Because it's applied to the fabric, DWR will eventually wear off. The good news is you can spray on or wash in DWR, reapply it, and extend the life of any item. If you don't plan on being outside for a long period of time, water resistant should do the trick. But if you're facing strong elements for longer, waterproof might be worth the investment. It's just unbelievable.